Welcome to Urban Wine Life on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother, and I'm here for our weekly wine review. And today I had a taste for Sauvignon Blanc. I haven't had that in a while. And I do collect a lot of Sauvignon Blancs. So, and I know they last for a couple of years. So I decided to pull out uh, Oregon Sauvignon Blanc. And you know, if you listen to a lot of my podcasts, I love Oregon and New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blancs. They have two almost distinctive flavors on one a little grassier one's a little fruitier and those are the two that really stand out for me so i decided to get an oregon sauvignon blanc from the rogue valley oregon vineyard up of five vineyard salem oregon so that's where it is but it's called an upper five sauvignon blanc it's a 2015 and I said, well, I got a taste for because I've been trying to cut down on a lot of meats and I've been doing a lot of vegetables. So I said, let me have something with this huge salad that I'm having. So I tried this Sauvignon Blanc and I tried a little, you know, I had some fruit inside of the actual salad as well. Raisins, uh, it had some mandarin oranges and a couple of things that way. So I, I tried this one. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get th that type of citrus or tropical fruits that pop out of there. But I know it has a lot of good lime and a lot of um, almost like a grassy taste, too, or more vegetable. And I, and I really like that in the Sauvignon Blanc. So when I have that, I know what I'm getting when I'm, I'm ordering it and I know what I'm getting if I hit the right uh, location. So I decided to have this Sauvignon Blanc. Um, like I said, it's a upper five from the Rogue Valley. And I was like, so what do we have in front of me? So it's really clear and it gives a great, great smell. Um, and I've decided to say, hey, look, let's check it out. And what they're saying is it's really balanced and good acidity. Uh, for this varietal here's another standout too all organic grapes um i thought all grapes was organic <laughs> unless you make them hybrids by not having seeds in them or whatever like that but it's all organic and it says that everywhere that you do your research for and even on the bottle it says organic sauvignon blanc grapes so um, if you're really concerned with it, that's what you have. So let's get a whiff of this and we'll go on into the tasting. But let's get a good whiff. So good. And it has a the citrusy uh, smell at first. And this is kind of important too. Don't chill it too high. Don't get it like really, really cold because it takes away the flavor and you really are not getting a good aroma popping out of that either. So I know a lot of people, and sometimes I do it too, because I just don't um, take the time to say, hey, look, I want something nice and crisp because it's warm. Or I just said I had it in the refrigerator for temporarily, and then I can pull it out. But I found that if it's too cold, it takes away a lot of the flavor. So if you do that, take it out, let the bottle sit. Well, pour it, let it breathe a little bit because it's it really doesn't have to breathe, but you want the temperature to drop a little bit, not as cold, but not really too warm either, because a lot of people are uncomfortable with a warm white wine, white wine, but good citrusy smell right here. Um, and it doesn't have a good woodsy smell. Why? Because it's in stainless steel. Um grades that they keep them in all these the, these big steel vats that they are in so they are not sitting in a lot of wood barrels so you're not getting that out of it which that's another thing that i like too i don't really like the wood barrel so let's get a quick taste too mm. 
So I'm getting a lime out of that. Um, um, possibly like a cantaloupe. So you, you, you may be getting that as well. But really, really good. What what I said mm, for before I taste it is I think the more I'm sitting out, the more that, that aroma pops out. So as soon as I put my nose in it, it was like there it was. It was just right up on me. But um, very good. And I'm glad I kind of waited on these because I do enjoy Sauvignon Blancs. And I normally do a Sauvignon Blanc with a, a, a lot of food that are really light. Um, anything that would have some citrusy play on it. Um, not anything too sweet either, but more so anything that's kind of like grassy or green beans. I even had it with... Um, old fashioned collard greens and it went really really well as long as you don't put a lot of uh, vinegar or anything in there it wouldn't spoil it but it went really well with that too so a lot of green leafy vegetables it'll go really well on this but I really enjoyed this this is a upper five Sauvignon Blanc from the Rouge Rogue Valley in Oregon um, so a good buy um, they had it for like $12.99 I saw a peak of 20 um, or so but it's a 2015 so you're probably not going to be able to get it because it's probably not in stock as much for 2015 but I didn't see a new vineyard as well even when I did my research so uh, Urban Wine Life um, catch us every Friday every Friday on your podcast downloads on Bougie Black Brother or Urban Wine Life or go to urbanwinelife.com and you see all the reviews and a couple of venues that I went to. So if you check that out, you'll probably get to enjoy that as well. So try that out. And next week we'll have something different. I'm trying to get another white wine because I got a bunch of them in there. And I'm ready to buy another set or another case. So I got to backfill that. So I want to drink a couple of more from there. But I'm probably going to go with a Vouvray. I got, I think, two Vouvrays in there. And I really want to jump in and grab that. So look forward to a Vouvray or something pretty different. But thank you so much for stopping by Urban Wine Life. Also, check us on Bougie Black Brother Network on YouTube. On YouTube, if you happen to like to stay on there and watch the videos. So thank you, and I'll see you next week on Urban 